Hi. Welcome to Strings Attached, our mother-daughter knitting and all things string podcast. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And it's been about a month since we've podcasted. Been busy. It's been a month. Um, and unfortunately, we don't really have like a crazy amount of stuff to show. Oh, it's getting I mean, busy. we have stuff, but you'd think we'd have more, but we've just been up to stuff. Well, I think we've been working on stuff. We just don't have yeah. a lot accomplished. Yeah. But um, like I went to Chicago for a long weekend and got back and that was kind of crazy trying to just get back into routine and I've been working on my well okay I've been working on my blanket that's pretty much yeah it. that takes a lot of time <clears throat> yeah that's pretty much consumed all my time and mm -hmm. a few pairs of socks and, and and my design which that's been I've had to rip out and you know that kind of stuff so I guess we've been working on stuff I just don't feel like we have as much as we normally would but I just don't feel like I accomplished we need to put banging on the table every time we do that as shakes much. the camera I'm a banger, head banger. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll start with FOs. Okay. Um, I have two pairs of socks that are FOs for me. And you I have... have a sock and a dress. Okay. What's that big hair attached to that sock? See it? Like, don't care. No. It's probably my <laughs> hair because I actually had these on. Yeah. So. <laughs> Okay, so I finished my second pair of Obata socks, and I've already worn them a whole bunch, so they're already looking worn. But they are, um, the yarn is Wonderland Yarns. I cannot remember what the collar was called now. I showed it on the last podcast. Variegated Moss. No. <laughs> um, it's very pretty. But yeah, these are the Obata socks by K. Jones of the Bakery Bears. Um, the pattern is only available in the Fall 2021 Vogue Knitting Magazine, which I ordered mine on Amazon. That's how I got it. But, oh, this pattern is the best pattern. They're really cute. She calls this a homesteader uh, stitch here. And you do that, like, throughout the entire sock. You do an umbrella toe, which is really comfortable. Love it. And then a heel flap and gusset. And the heel turn is a little bit different than the one that I normally use. And I actually think I like it because it's more rounded on the top instead of, mm -hmm. like, it, it doesn't come to as much of a point. So I really, really enjoyed it. Obviously, I made two in a row of these socks, so yeah. the gray pair and the green pair, and I wear them all the time. And, and you would the make yarn is so soft. Alice in Wonder no, Wonderland yarns, and it was the um, what was the like yarn base? Huh, it's lost to me now. I'll try to make show notes on this episode. I haven't been doing very good about the show notes, but Wonderland yarns is a great yarn. You can get it everywhere. So that's my only um. FO that I have a hold of here. My other FO you have. Oh, let's show it then. Okay. So I made these for mom who look, stepped on something. Well, I've been Chocolate. wearing them. Um, <laughs> I made these for mom for Mother's Day. I was going to have them on my feet. Couldn't get my feet yeah, up. Yeah, we're too tight in this room for you to get your feet up. But yeah, I finished these. These are the second pair of watermelon socks that I have made. I made the first pair for myself. The yarn is Ba, B-A-H Yarns. Um, slice of Summer is what it's called, and it's on their Tough Toes base, and it is a nice, like, sturdy, you can tell they're going to hold up really well. And yeah, obviously it makes the watermelon stripes. And this is just, I just used um, Crazy Sock Lady's pattern and just and just made it into a shorty version. It fit her, really well. For her vanilla socks on DPNs. Yeah. That's my first um, actual sock that I have worn that has been handmade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're getting ready to have another pair to wear. Well, wait, wait, wait till Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's my two FOs. Okay. Well, for me. I have another sock. I have my socks done. You got your socks done. Yay. Mm -hmm. I will be putting them away and waiting and wearing them for Christmas time. Yeah. So I think I've done decent with the stripes, getting them to match. You did great. And you even did the um, the afterthought heel by, by yourself. My, the second one, I did the afterthought heel by myself. She kept I asking for my help, myself. and I kept not coming over here. So finally, she just did it. Yeah. I was like, see, you don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they are done. Yay! So And what was that yarn again? I forget. Jelly jelly pop or something like that. Was hmm. it jelly jelly pop? Jelly I don't know. Lolly Lollipop. 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 And we jelly think pop. it's Christmas cheer. Yeah. Christmas wishes wanted to Christmas yeah. cheer. Lollipop yarns. Yeah, lollipop. Very yarns. pretty. And it yeah. came with enough to do the Mm -hmm. The cuff, the heel, and the toe for two pairs of socks, or two socks. Right and they, they cake them up really cool. I mean, they actually yeah. look like they hand rolled them, but when you get down in there, it's just a cake, but yeah. and they just look really pretty. Yeah. She does good, whoever it is. Very does a good job. Fun. Yeah. 
And then my other FO is I finished. For not being sock knitters, we had a lot of socks on this episode. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I made, um, it, I just made little flouncy like sleeves. Have you ever even talked about this dress? I think I had the show the material once. Oh, okay. Long time ago. Yeah, time. and it's my basic stray. I told him now I'm going to have to stop making this pattern because they're all just too plain. But I did make a sash. I might wear it like a high-waisted yeah, sash. Yeah, the sash is key. I like the yeah. back, how it has the, like, what are they, darts? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, these have darts. Yeah, I think that makes it look really good. Mm -hmm. Looks more, I mean, it's more fitted. Mm -hmm. And I didn't uh, have darts in the front. And this is that double-brushed whatever. Polyester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really so I soft. got that done. It'd be nice if that, my surgery worked and make it look nicer on the inside. But You've never had a surgery that ever worked in mean, your whole life. This one will work if I can get it threaded, but it's not a good surgery. It's a cheapie. <laughs> your last one was like that, too. You never used it. So but I, I asked the lady at the machine store, uh, well, going, and she said they're all, they're all hard to thread and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even good ones are. Mm -hmm. So that's my two FOs. Okay. And then the one that you have on... It's an old FO. Well, yeah, it's an old FO. I've worn it before. It's yep. the Seven Sisters. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven Sisters taught by it's a Blue Sky Fine. I don't know. I didn't even think about getting the pattern. Just stuck it on because we've talked about. I'll it put it down before. here. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, really cute. Yeah, it was, it was, an it old, was old yarn, old stash yarn, mm -hmm. old stash yarn. Like 20, oh yeah, twenty like plus years ago. A baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still nice. Oh yeah. It's amazing. I have some really old stash yarn. I was looking through my closet the other day. It's one of the sweaters that I got the front made, and it's all the cables and never did finish. Mm -hmm. That yarn is still really pretty. It's 100% yeah. wool. Is that I, the yarn that you got in? No, you used that Germany mm -hmm. yarn for something else. Yeah, I know this. I got in Little Nashville once oh, at a yarn okay. shop years ago. Okay. I got enough to make a sweater. and I was telling Mallory, I've got the front almost done. Yeah. So I think to do the rest of it, don't do cable. Just I'm just gonna make a plain stockinette sweater. Yeah, back. That'd be pretty. And plain stockinette sleeves. Mm -hmm. But the front's really pretty. Maybe yeah. someone would wear it, and probably too small for me. Laura might wear it. Yeah, she might. Yeah, she so, likes that kind of look. Yeah, called the key. But I mean, the yarn, the wool, that kind of stuff just keeps. It doesn't really, mm -hmm. you know, polyester or the acrylic yarns and stuff. Sometimes it gets crunchy. Gets crunchy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it does. Breaks down. Yeah. Okay. So we're on to whips. All right, go ahead. Okay. So first I'll show my blanket because I have been working on this a lot. It won't look like a lot to you guys, but I, this is a lot of work. A lot of knitting went into this. So this is Slip Stravaganza by Stephen West. And I am on the bubbles section. I don't remember where I was last time I showed it on the bubbles. You were like way down here. Was somewhere. I? Yeah. Okay. So it is very time consuming. I can't remember how many stitches are on the needle, but it's like craziness, crazy a lot of stitches. <laughs> so, and then every sixth row, you have to do this little drop stitch thing, which takes forever to make that bubble. How many more bubble rows you got? Um, let's see, I'm on, I'm on, okay, one, two, three, four, six, I'm on the ninth stripe out of 12. Oh. Well. So once I get done with this gray, I've got a, another whole set of white, pink, gray to do. With more stitches because you're increasing. No, no, there's no increases oh, there's on no this. No increase in those. Nope. So I have, I have, yeah, three and a half more bubble stripes, and then oh. I can move on to the next section. That's amazing. There's no increasing when you're making a. I know off. it's weird, isn't it? So the next section, I'll see if I can show it here. Is going to be even more crazy complicated. So th there's the bubble section, and then I don't know. I've got this like little brick looking section and then these chevrons so somewhere in there there's going to be some more increasing Whew, yeah which i can't imagine i'm gonna have to go up to two needles i'm on a 60 inch needle right now i'm gonna have to go up to two i think and like you have the extenders because i do um no i don't i have extenders and you could put your mm -hmm. two strands together yeah i don't know i'll figure this out anyway but that has been a lot of uh, my knitting time so i've been going to the knit night um at the local yarn store and work is they're all working on this, which is so funny because I like just out of the blue, you happen to be working on mm -hmm. it. And they are too. So there you can kind of see the blanket. And it's been out a while. Mm hmm. But yeah, it's going to be really pretty and really cool when I get done. That's Very nice. nice. Oops, I dropped my skin. It's an art. So in and is in. I had to buy a bigger, oops, I had to buy a bigger bag because <laughs> it was getting so big for the bag it was in. So I just picked this bag up. I think it was Hobby Lobby, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you showed it last time, maybe. No. 
it is really it was cute. like 12 bucks or something it's a nice big tote bag with the name on it for Mallory. you do need a big big thing for blankets mm -hmm. when i'm not knitting a, a blanket or something like that i can use that for an overnight bag or whatever yeah, what tote stuff stick around clothes of the kids in yeah to take somewhere. so it doesn't have to be a knitting bag Okay, so that's my first whip. Uh, my second whip is I started a new pair of socks just for fun. Just a vanilla sock. Oops. Let's make sure I'm not ripping anything out here. I'm using scraps, so I'm trying to make it work. So I'm having to put some little stripes in there. So I'm just making another shorty pair. These are just be for me to just have a it's nice cute pair. the way you're doing it, yeah. Yeah, so um, it has that kind of like athletic look to it. Like, mm -hmm. you know how like athletic socks will have that band around the middle mm -hmm. of your foot? So I was like, well, that'd be kind of cute. I'll put some stripes in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then that way, hopefully, I'll have enough gray yarn to make two pairs. I mean, two socks. This? Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. So I'm going to stripe probably like five maybe pink stripes and then do a little bit more gray and then the pink umbrella toe. It's so I did the to half have one sock. I know I'm kind of like, what am I going to do? So I'm going to have, or I did a um, half twisted rib here and then the heel flap and gusset with the French heel turn that I talked about a minute ago, which I really like. So this is my Wonderland yarns that I used for my first Obata socks. And I don't remember anything about what it was called. And this is my is this the Marianne and... Yes, Marianne. Thank you. Marianne the, is the base that's on. And I, I think Stephanie was the colorway. Mm -hmm. And then the pink is the um, lumberjack yarn. And I think it's bubble gum. Then I made a whole... I made a big, long pair of socks out of that. So hopefully I have enough yarn to make two pair. <laughs> I keep saying two pair. To make two socks. Um, two pair. <laughs> if not, then we'll just see how it goes. Maybe I should stop... Oh, and maybe get and the other start one the other far. sock, get it this far, and then work with what I have. Maybe that's what I should do. That sounds awful. Do you have more pink than you have gray? Not necessarily. Mm. I think you'll have enough. We'll see. I mean, I had that little tiny ball. I should have weighed it, but I didn't. And it made the rest of my heel and my toe. No, but heel and toe doesn't take very much yarn. Anyway, I'm just gonna. We'll just see. So yeah. this is just. I just needed something vanilla. I got tired of having that blanket. It's just so big and you have to scoot the stitches around. And so you get tired of that after a while. And then I finished my Obata sock. I finished your vanilla sock and I was like, I just need some. I didn't want to work on my design because I'm kind of at a standstill. So I just decided to get some scrap yarn and make a scrappy pair of socks. Every time she awesome. says vanilla, I think about cookies. <laughs> Something with vanilla in it. Okay, my last whip is my scarf design. So I've been talking about this for a while. So don't get too worried about it if you think it's hideous, because I think it's hideous too. And I'm going to rip it back a little bit. So I, let's see, I don't want to rip anything out. So I'm knitting it in the round because I, I don't want, I want it to be easy. And to me, knitting back and forth is not easy. So I'm knitting it in the round. Um, it's going to have a pico <clears throat> edge at the bottom. I do, I do, I'm set on that. I haven't sewed it down yet. So the bottom will be this after I sew that part in. So there's the Pico. And then I've got Latvian braid. Then this little diagonal thing that I love. I really like this section, this section I'm committed to. Another Latvian, no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, it's all getting ripped out. So I was like, I want one big Scottish thistle on it. And I just don't like that. Looks like a comb. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't, it looked cute on the graph paper. It does not look cute knitted. And also, I didn't want to mess with doing, like, you're in the round and you're doing intarsia, which I don't like intarsia anyway, but, so I carried that yarn, and look, you can see it, like, it's, don't like any of it, it's all, this is all getting ripped out, so, at first I thought about, well, maybe I'll just rip out this purple and make that solid, and then I, the more I looked at it, the more I don't, I just don't like any of it at all, so I'm well, gonna, I think it should be solid with some, all that solid, maybe just some little, Pokey. Well, the whole thing's getting ripped out. Yeah. And I'm going to do more of a collar work all around type thing with little thistles that go maybe like this high that go all the way around. And then I might end it with another Latvian braid in that section. I think that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do little thistles, maybe like one this way, one that way, one this way, one that way, or something. Mm -hmm. And I have a few ideas but I haven't landed on anything yet that's why I was like put this away I don't have to work on this <laughs> so anyway but yeah I do not like that it's getting ripped out and then the 
middle part of the scarf is going to be this. This is what I decided. The middle part of the scarf. Can you guys see that? I think so. I There's a glare that. kind of in my window here, but um, that is going to be the cable that I put up and down the middle. So that'll be on the front and back of the scarf. So, but I've got my like stitch count and stuff figured out for, you know, how many stitch stitches I wanted to cast on and everything. And then once you block this, it'll, I think it, since it's that cascade wool, I think it'll lay nice and flat. So I do really like the bottom. I'm happy about mm -hmm. that. It's pretty. So I, I've been working on that some, but not, I kind of done with it for a little bit, put that away. And it's just cascade 220s. I didn't want to commit to anything expensive since it's just for fun design, just to see if I can design something. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's in my bag, my Pioneer Woman placemat bag that mom made me. <laughs> Lori Nuna Maker is the pattern. She's a YouTuber. That's on my lips. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. Well, I'll show this one first because it's almost done. I wanted to have it done, but I got kind of bogged down with having to do the mattress stitch. And <laughs> kept putting it off. And there's a couple of mistakes, but whatever. And I did try it on, and it's plenty. It, it looks huge, but it fits but doesn't cling. So, I mean, it's a little bit big, but it doesn't cling. So, mm -hmm. Anyway, this is the Cascade T, isn't that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Cascade's T. And all I really... That's the back. Oh, yeah, it's the back. Here's the front. Pull it down just a little bit. We can't see the... There you go. There's the front. I'll show the back lower. And there's the back. It's so pretty. And it's got that little dealy stuff on the bottom. Yep. And the sleeve are just little cap things. It won't so take it's... me any time to do them. I just didn't get that done. It's just this... Yarn Basically over that, on the it's sleeve. just a little band thing. So yeah. it'd be kind of like this thing. Are, is your next band all done too, you said? Yeah, and I did it. I didn't do it exactly right, but you know what? To take that out, those are live stitches. So mm. I just left it. I'm hoping that'll kind of press up and just be flat. I mm -hmm. think it was supposed to be cast off with the pearl. So it would be like this. Mm. So it would be like that on the front side. And I've got it. Anyway. It looks fine. Whatever. I think when it's pressed, it'll be all right. Steam blocked. I mean, pressed. Steam blocked. As I'm a solar. Everything's pressed. <laughs> but it blocked. Okay. So, that's almost done. Quit doing that. Every time you do that, shaking the table. Okay. And whip, 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 whip. Okay. I started sock. I haven't got much. I didn't do much on it. Anyway, I did get cast on myself a little sock. It's probably the third time she started this sock with this yarn. It is. Mm -hmm. I it think is. I'll Just stick commit. to this one. Commit. And I tried to do that little. <laughs> Starting to get really fuzzy, the yarn. Uh, twisted knit, but I don't know if I did it right. Twisted anyway, rib. rib, yeah, but I'm not going to show it. I mean, it, it's just a. It's just like three or four rows. Whatever. Okay. So um, that was, I mean, I guess we don't really have to talk about that yarn, but that was her Rebel Pearl yarn she bought when they first opened. And she's been trying to knit a sock on it for like a year. <laughs> she keeps ripping it back out. Okay, and I'm doing another ripple. I think I showed this last time. So this but is crochet. This is, yeah, crochet. This is how much I've got. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, you only had it cast on last time or chained. You didn't show any of that. Oh, that's right. I just have a chain. It was just the chain. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Well, this is how much I've got done so far. And I don't work on it much. Just once in a while. That's really pretty. You don't want to do anything. I mean, this, this is kind of a no-brainer. So where's the... Are you on the gold right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This is the this was the beginning. That's the beginning. Okay. Yeah, and you just keep so you can see my colors. Oh, that's pretty. Brown, gold, so tan. Yeah. Looks pretty in this mm -hmm. room. This room is brown, gold, and tan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that I've been working on that some, and that's in one of my big tote bags that now I got me for Christmas from. Um, Envision Designs. It's a charity ran. We'll talk about it here in a second. Yeah, I started this little, um, this little neck down, cardigan neck down, pullover, pure and simple, and some old stash yarn, conf uh, cupcake confetti, mm -hmm. and it's heavy, so it'll be a coat next year. It's like a coat. Yeah, it's so really it's thick. It's real, I mean, I've got it now, I'm on the body, so I'm just sailing along. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, knitting pure and simple is what we're talking about. Yeah. Knitting pure and simple, children's neck down cardigan. We've had that pattern for years. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, that's flyer whips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's show acquisitions then. So we'll start with your bag okay. there. Yeah. I put it in my new bag. Mm -hmm. Mallory got me yesterday for bake mm -hmm. <laughs> She 
She went to, you can tell. So, um, my friend and I went to a market over in um, Montgomery, Indiana. It's called the Chandelier Barn Market. And um, this company is called Envision Designs. And they make these bags and then they sell them and they give the money to charity. So the bag, I mean, this bag was $30. It's upholstery material. And I'm telling you right now, this is something, this is like not handmade. I mean, it is, but like it is. I, have you ever seen anything so nice? Like you can't, I mean, I, I don't seen anything know. like that on Etsy. Not for $30. I don't know about this person's shop or whatever, but this is a commercial. This has been made on a commercial machine. It's more of a commercial thing. I mean, thing. it's like a purse. It's very nice. You could carry that as a heavy duty purse. Yeah, I'd say this woman has an upholstery. Yes, it's <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You just beautiful, beautiful. And the quality, I just, I can't get over yeah. the quality. Yeah, for $30. The, the pockets. It's got all these pockets in it. And this is, this is like a canvas. This is something that you would like upholster a porch furniture with. Yeah. Like it is so nice. Yeah. I just, for $30, I just could not, I just could not get over that. So you that's know, the bag I bought her because mom kept the kids while my friends and I went to that because it was so hot. I couldn't take the kids. It was too much. There's a company in Paoli called, I think it's Paoli, called Sale Right, I think. And they they have, they make, uh, well, they make sales, but they make other things too. Oh, like, and I wonder like if sailboat sales. Yeah. Okay. okay. And they have beautiful outdoor fabric and stuff that you can purchase online. So hmm. It's a beautiful uh my sister told me about it because she upholsters mm -hmm. a lot of outdoor furniture. Yeah. So anyway. And it's got the one. strap. I like. So oh, yeah. the strap's long. So, it, I mean, it is. This is a purse. It's but a me purse. and mom are using them as project bags. But for carrying this around, sometimes the project bag straps are real short. And I am personally not that big of a fan of this style project bag. I don't like the cinching. Like, and every time I want to get in, I have to go like that. I, I, this is not my favorite design for a bag. This... I like, and then the big strap you can just if you want to carry it around with you, especially with me with the kids. Like it's hard yeah, for me to pack a lot. It's hard for me to carry pack. anything with short straps. Yeah, and I just I saw that and I was like, oh man, I like that a lot. Yeah, that and then I also she bought for me. Yeah, I called mom. I said, do you want this? Another just like the other one I just showed with my. It's a my little camera. smaller, but yeah, it's a little bit shorter. Yeah, but it's still big. It's the Pioneer. Yeah, woman it's Pioneer left. Woman fabric, and it has the pockets all the pockets in mm -hmm. it and it's also upholstery fabric in fact oh. it's got a it's got a vinyl feel inside that's oh, almost that's, like waterproof i don't know why i don't know but I this was only 35 dollars envision yeah. design yeah first chance center is the is the um charity yeah and i put my yarn for um this is a christmas gift I'm, sure I'm, gonna take, but I'm making this one again i think i said this already one other time Anyway, what is that? Just that big chevron one? Chevron. Mm. Out of these yarns. Yeah. So that'll be the bag for that. And yeah. Because it'll hold Mom them. loves Pioneer Woman, and I'm pretty sure that's yeah. Pioneer Woman fabric. Yeah. If not, it's really, it's made to look like it. Yeah, it's made to look like <laughs> it. I mean. Okay. And yeah. um, let me go ahead, please. Sure. Yeah. For my um, for Mother's my, Day. Mm -hmm. Well, now I got me these. Made those for, for Mother's Day. And she also gave me a yarn <laughs> book. So this was um, I didn't the nitpicks. Yeah. Just like mine, only the dark stain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I, had, I don't really have anything with the cake going. Mine's just mm. all stuff with, you know, the other type. But anyway. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it was the day after Mother's Day. Uh, my sister. My sister. My daughter from. Um, my sister. Your sister. My <laughs> daughter from Michigan mailed me a Mother's Day present. And she said, you're going to get it, blah, blah, blah. And I already told her what Mallory had got me and all that stuff. But anyway, <laughs> another yarn ball. Isn't that pretty? Completely different, though. This one's going to hold a bigger one. Yeah. And where this one's just going to hold a And you could like even shove two side. down in there. Like if, if you oh, had, yeah, yeah. You, could, you could really make use of that. I could. I could put two Because I don't ever use the little, like, thingy. This thing? Mm-mm. Hmm. -mm. hmm. I just let them come right out of the top. It shows other little holes. Like, are you supposed to? Is that an idea where you're? If you to were spinning them? your yarn instead of pulling it from the middle, if you were taking it around, that, those holes would probably be good because it would allow you to. But I find it all just to be annoying. Like, I'll just messing with it. I just pull it right out of the center. Hmm. I okay. just put the bowl like down in my bag so it stays down in there and then pull it right out. So, of it. It, in theory, that's supposed to be nice. I don't use them. Yeah. 
anyway, so they're too. completely different, different sizes, different looks. They're really yeah. pretty. But sometimes I wish I had a second one. No, so because I'll have one going on one project and it's in a bag, and I'm like, man, I don't want to get it out of there. Yeah, wish I had another one. Yeah. So I have two. I have two. <laughs> okay, the table again. so my yeah, you've done it a lot. I will. <laughs> I will. probably have to. So my only other acquisition, well, I have two. So I got this at the Rebel Pearl. Picked this up. I don't remember if it was on sale or why I got it, but it's a um, how many? You call them yeah. minis? These are the 50 grams. I don't know if that's a mini or not. 50 grams no, game. Not sure, but anyway, they're each 50 grams. So there's about 140, 436 yards total. So I think I'm going to make, um, like for Halloween, just like stripes, just big, mm. like through probably like four rows each or something, just big stripe, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. Socks you're talking about. Socks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sock socks. It's, yeah. It's sock yarn. And, um, it's called, um, I don't remember. I don't know which one's which. Did we just become best friends is one of the two. And then, oh, for pet's sake. Hmm. Oh, no. That just, okay. Together, I think, the two together is called Did We Just Become Best Friends. Oh, yeah, I bet. And then either say. the green or the purple is oh, for pet's sake. And the other one is five by five. So I don't know which one's which, but they're really pretty together. And I, I just saw, I just feel like it's Halloween. Like, yeah. Which, which, which colors, which socks. Like. Yeah. So, and then I picked these up and I didn't even realize this when I picked these out, they matched the socks. Perfect. Purple and green. I got them home and I, I like laid them side by side. I way. guess. Yeah. So they're little grapes. So this is Studio Knit Boop. And I got these at, at the Rebel Coral too. So super cute, super fun. And then I got a bag yesterday at the festival as well. I'm obsessed with it. So it's got the long strap. This is the same thing in Vision Designs. I mean, this is a purse. It's beautiful. But I'm using it as a sock bag. Big long strap. I'm obsessed with that. It's got this like pink and gray tweed. And it has a pocket here, 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 and here. And on the inside, it's got all those pockets and a little side pocket on each side. Hmm. And then a middle that you can put your stuff like that. So I put my pink and gray socks in there. I didn't even realize this when I, I almost bought this bag for mom. And she goes, I think I FaceTimed her. And she said, I think I like this other one better. And I said, okay, well, I'm buying this one for me. I didn't even think about my green pink sock because I already had it started. And then I got home. I was like, oh, I'm making a green pink sock. Perfect. So I love it. And yeah, it's got the little snap top. So if I do want to close it, which I hardly ever close my bags, I'll uh, snap it shut. But yeah. Very pretty. I absolutely love it. Vinyl bottom. This is all vinyl. This is all vinyl. I mean, just so quality. So nice. I mean, you could buy that at a store. Yeah. You would. And it was $30 at that festival. Yeah. Well, even that I can't get past was it. just 35 I know. I can't get past it. The, <laughs> they're not making a dollar. Can you imagine how much time that would take and the cost That's of why the you materials? wonder. Maybe the fabric is scraps. I don't know. I mean, they're donating it to charity, so they're just donating their time, I yeah. guess. But I just can't get over the price. Yeah. So they have an Etsy. Um, I will try to remember to put the link to their Etsy shop in the description. I'm horrible at doing descriptions. I'm sorry. I've been, I've been bad lately. I have to go back and do them later because yeah, whatever the internet and everything. So I usually get the video uploaded and then go back later and do it, but I've just been busy these last couple months and I haven't gone back. So I'll try to remember to do it. Cause one person did ask me like, where's the, where do you buy those bags a while hmm. ago? So I will try to put that link, but Last time I checked, there wasn't anything in the shop. Oh. So, but they have like, you know, 60 or 70 bags. No, maybe not 60 or 70. They, pro they probably can't. They, yeah, they had a lot of bags at the festival yesterday. I bet they do. But they're not loaded in the shop the last time I looked. I bet they do a lot of summer festivals. But I think you can contact them and order a bag. Oh, yeah. So, I think you can do that. Um, so, we've shown the different sizes, like. The, oh yeah, there's all different sizes. The first sizes. big bag was tall. This was not as tall mm -hmm. one of those. Yeah, yeah. this. And um, then your little one that you always My carry, normal sock bag have... is just a little guy with two little handles. It doesn't mm -hmm. have a long strap. And it doesn't shut at all. It just kind of a It's bucket. just a little bucket thing. Yeah. But yeah, awesome. Awesome bags. I mean, highly recommend. And if you did want to like get one for somebody for like a Christmas gift or something, I do think they take orders. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's all for us. I don't think I have anything. Nothing uh, else really exciting has happened. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. So I won um, a giveaway on the Carlin Knits podcast. I won a pattern. 
So I won uh, this pattern. It's the Abyss Socks by Gazal Muhammad. And I wasn't thinking and started those vanilla socks, which I did want a vanilla project. So, but I could have made these because that's what I'm making. I'm making a shorty pair with the contrasting cuff, well, heel, and toe. You're but, getting your stock stash yeah. built up. So I will make these though soon <clears throat> because shorty yeah. socks in the summer, I do like to wear shorty socks around the house. So, but I won this for, um, I can't remember what she was giving it away for now, but I had to, you had to call in and, and she picked me. So I won that. So I'll, make, I'll be making those soon. So stay tuned. They look really pretty. And then I don't know who was making these. Some podcast we were watching. Mm. Do you know? It wasn't. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to make these. Ink, was it? No, it wasn't Ned Ink. I don't remember. I'm going to make these socks here soon too. I'll probably buy yarn for these because I don't have anything that really strikes my fancy for it that. It was a new one I've been watching. But I'm not going to make it in those colors. But I loved that. And it's, you can't really see it there. But the the design is made with these like horizontal, I don't know what that's called, that technique. But it, it looks, looks really cool. It looks like an an added after on embroidery. But it's look. not. I know, but it's got, that's the feel. That's what it looks. Yeah, so. I don't maybe know. Maybe that's what they commented too. It looks like something you did after the yeah thing. like when you carry it looks like floats like when you carry yeah. yarn and it makes those like floats it kind of looks like that but it's like i don't know I, i'm curious to find out how yeah because the the person that was making it was making it i think like gray and white and it was so pretty mm -hmm. a gray sock with white oh, it was really pretty or maybe it was pink it was it wasn't gray it was like a dusty pink that she was using mm -hmm. like a mauve almost mm -hmm. and with a with a cream and look, it's got, a, it's got a different... Um, yeah, it's got a different um, foot. Can you see the little, like, diagonal, like, arch of the foot? I don't know. It just This looks really fun. So, and but it was a free pattern. But she didn't do, I remember. So, this is Rusamine Rose Socks by Kaua, Kaua Coffee. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. But I stay tuned for these as well because I'm really into socks right now. I, I need to work on my sweaters for my... Um, for my nieces and nephews Christmas gifts, but <laughs> really into just, I just want to make socks. Well, I'm hoping when I get that pick turquoise thing done, I'm going to start with my Christmas gifts, the pink sweater. Mm -hmm. I just laid it aside because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got my next like kids Christmas sweater picked out and I printed the pattern off, which mm. I forgot to bring it, but um, I don't have yarn for it or anything yet. I have yarn that I have in mind, but I haven't ordered it and all that, so. Boy, Maybe I'll have that by next podcast. We'll see. But I'm just like, do I really want to start that right now? Once I start it, I'm sure I'll have fun. Because starting sweaters is the fun part. You know? Yeah, it is. But I don't know. I'm just like, I just like the socks right now. I just They're so fast and satisfying. And I just love wearing them. I got a new pair of Birkenstocks and I'm real dorky. And I like to wear my socks with my Birkenstocks. I really like that. <laughs> I don't have any shoes to wear mine with. I was going to get the Birkenstocks that you, that your toe goes in between, your big toe and your second toe goes in between the little strap. And I ordered them. They were too big anyway. And I ordered them and then I, I got them and I was like, well, they're too big. I take them back. Plus, can't wear my knitted socks with these. Yeah. So that's not what I want. So I went back and just got the classic Birkenstock Arizona style with the two strap. I love them. So I'll be wearing my socks with those. So yeah. That's, socks and sandals. That's my look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's all for us. I think so. I, I feel like we didn't have that much, but I mean. It had been a month. It is what it is, you know. It is what it Summertime, is. it maybe thinks we'll... you don't have as much time to just sit around and knit. Maybe we'll have more next time. Yeah, maybe. We'll I don't, see. I haven't got any, I haven't got any yarn ordered. That's. Me either. We don't really need it. That's the thing. I know. My PayPal is a little high. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I did order that. Yeah. I've been ordering more stuff like personal care, like uh, makeup stuff and hair stuff. And I've been ordering birthday presents. <laughs> I just looked in the mirror and I was like, you know, I need more makeup and I need my hair to look better. Within the last, I don't know, six months probably I've been like, you're getting older. You got to start caring more about your makeup and stuff or else you're just going to look like you don't care. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't want to be too makeup -y. But you want to look like you tried. I do. I mean, well, I personally, no, I know. I feel do. better I'm just in general. I just personally <clears> feel <throat> better if I get ready and like look in the mirror and think, oh, like I, I just want to look in the mirror and like like what I was reflecting back. 
Yeah. So that's to each their own on that. But to me, I have sun damage on my face and I'm starting to get wrinkles. And so, okay. Yeah, that's what I've been spending money on. But that's just silly stuff. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.